In this video, I want to go over command line arguments in Python. Now, what I first want us to do is to look over here at this code. What I'm doing is I'm importing the sys module, and then I'm printing sys.argv out into the screen. What sys.argv is, is it's a list of all the arguments that you supply to your Python program when you run it in the command prompt. Now, I'm going to go over here, and remember, what we're all, all we're doing in this script is printing the list, sys.argv out into the screen. I've already, in the command prompt, changed the directory to the location of where my Python script can be found. It's on the desktop. I'm then going to invoke Python's interpreter to interpret my Python script. So I'm going to say py to do just that. The name of my program, which is myprogram.py. And then I'm going to give it some command line arguments. I'm going to say hello.txt, so a text file, maybe a name such as Roger, and an integer such as 356. When I hit enter, it printed out sys.argv out into the screen. As you can see, the very first item in our list, or index zero, you could think of it as, is the program that you supplied to your Python interpreter. So myprogram.py is the very first item in my list. Hello.txt is the second item. Roger is the third, and 356 is the last item. Now, if we really want to visualize this, we can go down here and we can print it out onto the screen, the argument number and the argument itself. So we can just say counter is equal to zero. And then I'm just going to say for every element i in my sys.argv list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment the counter by one. So counter plus equals one. And then I'm going to print out the counter and the argument to the screen. So I'm going to say print argument. We're going to put a placeholder here, and I'm going to explain what all this does in a minute. Another placeholder, and then I'm just going to say dot format. The first format variable is going to be counter, and the second one is i. What this is doing, if you didn't already know, we're iterating throughout every element i in our sys.argv list. Once we've done that, we're going to in, in, uh, increment our counter by one. For the very first iteration of this for loop, it's going to say argument one, and it's going to be the very first... Um, item i in our sys.argv list. For iteration 2, it's going to say argument 2 in the second one. So if we ran, save this, so save, and then we just run it. So we can just say we're going to remove all these. We're just going to uh, interpret the program. We've already changed the directory to the desktop. So we're going to invoke Python's interpreter with py. And then we're just going to say myprogram.py. And if we hit enter, argument 1 is myprogram.py. If we run it again and we say hello.txt and Roger and some other stuff, we'll just put all this. As you can see, argument one is the name of our program. It will always be the name of your program, argument one will. And then argument two is all the other command line arguments that you supply to your program. Now, this isn't only limited to just random strings or integers. Uh, you can also use command line arguments to get text files. CSV files, images, all that stuff. So I'm going to show you how we can get text files from the command line using command line arguments. We need to import sys, and I'm just going to say create a variable called my txt file, and we're going to set it equal to sys.argv1. Because you remember, sys.argv0 will always be the name of our program, and if we only type in one command line argument after um, the name of our program, we know that we're going to put in a text file, so we can just say sys.argv1, which will be the name of the text file, and my text file will be in this variable. We can then say with open, and open is just going to open our text file. We're going to supply it, the text file, so my text file. The mode will be R for read, and we're going to say basically refer to this file object as F. And then we're going to read the contents of this text file to a variable. So we're going to create a variable called fcont is equal to f.read. And that's all this read variable does is it reads the contents of the text file into this f content variable. And then when we're done with that, we can just print fcont onto the screen. And this will print all the contents of the text file. And we can do this with the command prompt. So we're just going to save this. It's saved. So we're going to go to my program. The name of the text file is mytxt.txt. Mytxt.txt will be the uh, index one in our sys.argv um, list. So sys.argv1, 
sys.arg v1 will be my txt, that txt. So when we hit enter, as you can see, it printed out the contents of the text file to the screen. So hello, this is my text file. This is line number two, and this is line number three. Reading from text files is easy. So that was just a brief introduction to command line arguments with Python. I hope that you learned something and this video was valuable. If it was, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.